We don't know that. But they do. Wh like, where did you get? Where did you hear that? Are you making this that up? This chair you made that up? is like still peeing everywhere, but uh, we're working on it. I didn't ask you about it before I bought it because I didn't want to get in another fight. Good morning, everybody. It is game day. It is Aiden's second birthday party. It's not his actual birthday. We're just doing a celebration today with some friends, some family. Yeah. yeah. I'm so excited. I can't believe that we're gonna have a two-year-old. I feel like we just had a baby, like a newborn. Like I feel like I just remember giving birth like yesterday. So this feels really weird. We are up not too early getting all set up. You can see we got the dining room table over here with some goodie boxes for the little ones. Mm -hmm. What are they called, gift bags? Gift bags, gift boxes. They look like uh, little, little Happy Meal boxes. Yeah, they do, kind of. <laughs> We put those together last night. I just found some items on Amazon actually. So if you are, hey baby, if you're looking to put together stuff, like I found that it was cheaper to go on Amazon and get bulks of things as opposed to trying to go to like Target. I did go to Smart. Dollar Tree. Smart. Yeah, so, you know, little mom hat. Mariah rented chairs and we got into a heated discussion about whether to we keep. <laughs> <laughs> Whether to keep the chairs or not because evidently they are a bit dirty But my defense is that these are chairs for kids. They're going to get dirty okay. And I mean they're rentals. So what did you expect? Okay, let me say my piece. Let me say my piece So I get that they're rental chairs for kids But the thing is I would think if you own a rental company if they look bad You would replace them. That's what you would do. You wouldn't just keep renting them out so that they're rusted and disgusting. You would replace them. Because it is a little known fact that rental companies really do make hand over fist when it comes to the profits that they get. We don't know that. But they do. Wh like, where did you get, where did you hear that? Are you making this that up? This chair you made that up? is like 25 bucks a pop. How much no, did you rent not. it for? This chair was a dollar fifty. It was a dollar fifty and that you buy them for like $10, $25 a pop and you rent them out. Yeah, I mean, I they're think you get a quick return and investment, but I don't know that they're making bank. But I do yeah. think you're like, I would never rent from that company again. So I do think that if you're gonna, you know, get repeat customers, because people do have parties all the time, you check the quality of your inventory. Do not just give people whatever, because they're never gonna come back. That's my point, my rant. <laughs> All that to say that last night, Mariah went out and bought chairs that she's picking up later today. Or I should say, I am picking them up too. I think Grandma's picking them up, but then you have to put them together. So I didn't, I didn't ask you about it before I bought it because I didn't want to get in another fight. You're going to do it. So I don't, I just, you're going to do it. It's going to be fine. It's going to be great. And <laughs> don't look so sad. You're looking like like some uh, person that I'm like forcing to do this. I just I like, didn't want to talk about it before. I, I like doing projects. Let me show you a project that we recently just finished. So this was months in the making, but it is finally finished. Check out that chandelier that Mariah picked out. The wallpaper on the ceiling was my idea. We still have to do crown molding around the corners there, but this is the finished product. A little update on our boy blue here. He is happy, healthy, playful, still peeing everywhere, but uh, we're working on it. And so far he has been accident free for four days. 
and all is good. So here is the setup we got for today. This is Aiden's playhouse that we set up for him earlier in the summer. And I have a little bouncy castle right over here that I'll uh, inflate in just a second, but I gotta clean up the rest of this backyard and get that sorted. And we're supposed to get a birthday sign for him. When I say birthday sign, I just mean two, I think it's number two or letters spelling out two, we'll see. But the theme of this party is from one of Aiden's most favorite movies right now. And it's also the reason why we named Blue, Blue. It's from the movie Rio. You know, of all the events that Mariah does for us, this is by far my favorite. Putting down and taking up our polyglide ice. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? You know, at least I have the system worked out now, but I mean, I'm feeling it. Maybe this is why I got tennis elbow. Me, a skating athlete, has tennis elbow. And it's because of this, I'm convinced. <laughs> Happy birthday early because he might like it. Alright, see you later. 